turning pages, changing games, where every book is a new frontier. Are you a business owner seeking ways to elevate your sales performance? Despite trying various strategies to boost sales, have you found yourself falling short of your goals? Fear not. The solution to your sales challenges is at hand, and it comes directly from the expertise of sales guru Jeffrey Giedomer. Discover the transformative power of the Little Red Book of Selling, a guide packed with invaluable tips that will empower you to enhance your sales skills. Uncover the art of selling not just a product or service, but, most importantly, yourself. To fully harness the potential of this book, Jeffrey recommends immersing yourself in its wisdom repeatedly, making it a habit to revisit its insights regularly. Fortunately, we've simplified the process for you by summarizing the book's key teachings and providing essential takeaways, ensuring you can easily integrate these valuable lessons into your sales approach. Meet Jeffrey Gitomer, the charismatic king of sales, renowned for his expertise as a trainer, author, sales coach, and international speaker. With an impressive 40-year career in sales, Gitomer has not only earned the title of a seasoned sales veteran, but has also consulted with industry giants such as Apple, Coca-Cola, and Microsoft. In addition to these accomplishments, Before we delve further, remember that we regularly share new content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel business book summaries and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. One of his standout works, The Little Red Book of Selling, serves as a beacon guiding you through the intricacies of why sales occur, equipping you with the knowledge to make strategic decisions for your business. Within this literary masterpiece, Gitomer unveils his 12.5 principles of sales greatness, offering a comprehensive guide on how to unlock your full potential and, more crucially, propel your sales to new heights. So, let's not waste another moment. Immerse yourself in the wealth of knowledge that Jeffrey Gitomer brings and embark on a journey to optimize your potential and drive. The 12.5 Principles of Sales Greatness Unveiled. 2.1 Principle 1, Propel Your Success by Kicking Your Own Ass. Embarking on the journey to sales greatness demands an intrinsic drive and self-motivation from every salesperson. In the realm of sales, your success is not solely influenced by external factors, but is, in fact, a product of your personal dedication and determination. It all begins and ends with you. To achieve prosperity in the competitive field of sales, one must recognize that the journey begins and ends with oneself. The level of success attained is a direct reflection of the motivation, passion, and diligence invested by the salesperson. Key takeaways for maximizing productivity. One, set high expectations. Push yourself to surpass even the expectations set by your managers. Strive for excellence and expect more from yourself than anyone else ever would. Two, fuel your motivation. If the fire of motivation isn't burning within you, it's crucial to reassess. If success isn't your driving force, it might be time to reconsider your path in the sales arena. Three, surround yourself with positivity. Cultivate a network of successful and positive individuals. Surrounding yourself with like-minded people can fuel your motivation and contribute to your overall success. 4. Early risers reap rewards. Establish a habit of starting your workday ahead of the curve. Arriving an hour before others and being the last to leave not only demonstrates commitment, but also provides you with the opportunity to get a head start on your tasks. In essence, Principle 1 emphasizes that your productivity and success in sales are intricately linked to your personal motivation. By cultivating a relentless drive and adopting proactive habits, you pave the way for unparalleled achievement in the competitive world of sales. 2.2 Principle 2. Arm yourself for success. Prepare to win or risk losing to the prepared. Prepare for excellence. Elevating yourself to the status of a formidable salesperson requires a strategic approach to research and preparation, particularly when engaging with new clients. The foundation of success lies in your ability to equip yourself with comprehensive knowledge and insights. Thorough client research, becoming a master in sales, involves delving deep into the intricacies of your client's world. It is imperative to conduct thorough research, leaving no stone unturned. 
This meticulous approach ensures that you possess a profound understanding of your client's needs and challenges. Comprehensive information gathering. Your aim is to go beyond surface level knowledge. Dive into the company's annual report, engage with employees, understand the competitive landscape, and gain insights from consumers. Scrutinize their online presence, including websites and sales pages, to gather a holistic understanding of the client's ethos and operations. Key takeaways for sales excellence. One, this step is instrumental in tailoring your approach and establishing a meaningful connection. Two, time management is crucial. Recognize the value of time in the world of sales. Every moment spent on activities that don't contribute to your professional growth is a missed opportunity. Avoid frivolous activities like excessive TV watching, which can hinder your progress in the competitive sales landscape. 2.3 Principle 3. Craft your image personal branding in sales. It's not who you know, it's who knows you. Building a compelling personal image. Understanding the pivotal role of first impressions, especially in the realm of sales. Principle 3 emphasizes the significance of personal branding. Even before meeting a potential client face-to-face, -face, your reputation and image should already be making a positive impact. Strategic personal branding. Consider the digital landscape what surfaces when your name is entered into a search engine. Principle three advocates for cultivating a compelling personal image, positioning yourself as an expert, not only in the services you offer, but also within your industry. Key takeaways for effective personal branding. One, optimize your online presence, utilize SEO techniques and Google AdWords to enhance your visibility. Ensuring that your digital footprint reflects your expertise makes it easy for people to find and trust you. Two, establish your digital space, create a professional website, design impactful business cards, or venture into crafting your own e-magazine. These platforms contribute to a strong personal brand, leaving a lasting impression on potential clients. 2.4 Principle 4, elevate your approach. It's all about value. It's all about relationship. It's not all about price. Nurturing relationships and showcasing value. In the competitive landscape of sales, principle four underscores the importance of highlighting the value of your product or service over its price. Building meaningful relationships with clients extends beyond mere transactions, fostering a connection that transcends the business exchange. Value proposition over price, shift the focus from the cost to the value your product provides. Clients are willing to overlook higher prices if they see a substantial value proposition. Building lasting relationships, go beyond the transactional aspect and cultivate relationships where clients feel valued beyond their financial contributions. Key takeaways for relationship-centric sales. One, prioritize building genuine connections to establish a foundation of trust. Two, demonstrate value clearly. Clearly articulate how your product or service addresses the needs of your client. Showcase the tangible benefits and solutions you bring to the table. In essence, principle three and four highlight the importance of personal branding and relationship building, positioning you not just as a seller, but as a trusted expert offering valuable solutions in the competitive marketplace. 2.5, principle five. Transform your efforts, it's NOT work, it's network. Unleashing the power of networking. Principle five introduces a transformative perspective on professional engagement, emphasizing that networking is not merely a task, but a potent avenue for expanding one's fortunes. Maximizing local events to harness the benefits of networking, frequenting events organized by your local chamber of commerce becomes paramount. Attend these gatherings regularly to establish meaningful connections within your community. Explore high-profile associations. Consider affiliating with prestigious charities and organizations like Entrepreneurs Organization. These platforms not only offer mentorship, but also provide access to online networks and global networking opportunities, amplifying your professional reach. Additional networking strategies. One. Follow your customers, identify the places where your target audience congregates, and actively participate in those spaces. This strategy ensures that you are where your potential customers are. Two, 
Diversify your connections. Allocate a significant portion, around 75% of your time, to engage with individuals outside your familiar circles. Expanding your network beyond your existing contacts opens doors to new opportunities. 2.6 Principle 6. Mastering prioritization. If you can't get in front of the real decision maker, you suck. Strategic Client Engagement. Principle 6 underscores the significance of identifying and connecting with the ultimate decision maker in any client interaction. Prioritizing this crucial step ensures that your efforts are directed towards those with the authority to make significant decisions. Deciphering decision makers before pitching ideas or creating presentations determine the real decision maker in your client dealings. Make it a priority to secure an appointment with them to maximize the impact of your proposals. Face-to-face -face selling in the realm of sales, principle six emphasizes the importance of selling face-to-face. Avoid getting caught in the trap of discussing your product over phone calls. Reserve those conversations for face-to-face -face interactions. Key takeaways for strategic engagement. One, prioritize decision-maker meetings. Invest time and effort in securing appointments with key decision-makers before diving into any proposals or presentations. Two, face-to-face -face interaction is paramount. Face-to-face -face communication is irreplaceable in sales. Reserve discussions about your product for in-person meetings to enhance your chances of making a compelling impact. In essence, principles five and six shed light on the dynamic nature of networking and the critical importance of prioritizing interactions with decision makers, providing valuable insights to enhance your professional effectiveness and success in the realm of sales. 2.7 Principle 7, Mastering Persuasion Engage Me and You Can Make Me Convince Myself Unleashing the Art of Convincing. Principle seven delves into the art of persuasion, emphasizing the power of engaging your client in a manner that allows them to convince themselves of the value you bring compared to other offers in the market. Strategic questioning, the key to persuasion, lies in asking the right questions that unveil the client's priorities and most pressing needs. These questions should be thought-provoking, prompting the interested party to pause and contemplate. Stimulating questions ensure that every question you pose is designed to stimulate critical thinking. This strategic approach encourages your client to actively participate in the conversation, making them an active contributor to the decision-making process. Key takeaways for persuasive interactions. One, the goal is to guide them towards recognizing the unique value you offer. Two, active listening is essential. Take diligent notes and truly listen when your client speaks. The nuances of their body language, tone of voice, and facial expressions offer valuable cues about their engagement level in the sales conversation. Three, read nonverbal cues. Go beyond words and pay attention to nonverbal cues. Understanding the client's body language and expressions provides insights into their level of interest and involvement in the sales dialogue. In essence, Principle 7 provides a roadmap for persuasive interactions, offering techniques to engage clients in a way that allows them to self-convince of the superior value you bring to the table. Mastering this principle enhances your ability to influence and win over clients in the competitive landscape of sales. 2.8 Principle 8. The power of laughter. If you can make them laugh, you can make them buy. Leveraging humor for connection. Principle 8 introduces the invaluable role of humor as a tool to transition a client from mere interest to genuine affinity. Laughter, a simple yet powerful element. Breaking down defenses, humor serves as a unique avenue to break down barriers, allowing clients to drop their guard and interact with you in a candid and trusting manner. Capturing attention. By infusing laughter into your sales conversation, you not only capture your client's full attention, but also leave them wanting more from both the interaction and your offerings. Key takeaways for effective use of humor. One, personal stories create a connection and enhance the likability factor. Two, on your humor skills. If humor doesn't come naturally to you, invest time in studying and refining this skill. The ability to make people laugh can be cultivated, adding a compelling dimension to your sales approach. 2.9 Principle 9. Unleashing creativity. Use creativity to differentiate and dominate. 
strategic deployment of creativity. Principle nine, as highlighted by Jeffrey, delves into the three major avenues where creativity can be harnessed to set oneself apart from the competition. One, powerful opening questions. Elevate your client consultations by incorporating powerful opening questions. These questions not only demonstrate creativity, but also lay the foundation for impactful and insightful discussions. Two, impressive personal branding. Establish a memorable personal brand through creative elements such as unique business cards, captivating voicemail messages, and other distinctive touch points. Creative branding leaves a lasting impression on clients. Three, making public appearances. Public appearances, whether through presentations, seminars, or industry events, provide a platform to showcase your creativity. Engaging and innovative presentations can leave a lasting imprint on your audience. Key takeaways for harnessing creativity. One, creativity is a learnable skill. Contrary to the misconception that creativity is innate, Principle 9 emphasizes that creativity is a skill that can be cultivated and honed through intentional effort and practice. In essence, Principles 8 and 9 shed light on the impact of humor and creativity in the sales process. Mastering these elements not only enhances your likability, but also sets you apart in a competitive landscape, fostering stronger connections and establishing a memorable presence. 2.11 Principle 11, amplifying credibility when you say it about yourself, it's bragging. When someone else says it about you, it's proof. The power of referrals. Principle 11 highlights the pivotal role of referrals as a potent tool for lead generation. Jeffrey Gidomer emphasizes the idea of harnessing the support of existing clients to attract new ones. Client advocacy. Encourage your clients to actively participate in expanding your client base. This involves seeking their help in gaining new clients and leveraging their positive experiences as a testament to your credibility. Video testimonials for impact. Recording video testimonials from satisfied customers serves as a powerful method to showcase your capabilities. Video testimonials, when presented to potential customers, often have a greater impact than written ones, adding a personal touch to your credibility. Key takeaways for building credibility. One, factual testimonials. Ensure that testimonials include specific facts that highlight the capabilities of your product or service. Concrete details contribute to the credibility of the testimonial. Two, post relationship inquiry. Once a strong relationship is established, Proactively seek reasons from your clients for choosing your product or service. This feedback not only reinforces your credibility, but also provides valuable insights for improvement. In summary, principles 10 and 11 focus on minimizing risks in the sales process and leveraging client referrals to amplify credibility. By strategically addressing concerns and showcasing authentic endorsements, you enhance your ability to convert selling into buying and establish a robust foundation for sustained success. 2.12 Principle 12. Stay tuned in. Keep your antennas up for success. Attuning to Opportunities. Principle 12 underscores the importance of being attuned to new opportunities as a key factor in the success of a salesperson. Being tuned in means being aware of your surroundings and actively engaging with everyone you encounter in your business path. This proactive approach not only helps in building connections, but also serves as a constant source of potential clients. Environmental awareness. To be a successful salesperson, it's crucial to maintain a heightened sense of awareness in your environment. This includes being conscious of new opportunities that may arise unexpectedly. Constant selling mindset. The best salespeople adopt a mindset of always selling, irrespective of their location. This perpetual readiness ensures that they are capitalizing on every potential opportunity, wherever they may find themselves. Key takeaways for staying tuned in. 1. Develop a sixth sense of selling. Cultivate a heightened awareness, often referred to as a sixth sense of selling. This innate ability to sense opportunities keeps your antennae up and responsive to potential business prospects. 2.13 Principle 12.5 Prioritizing your focus. Principle 12.5 highlights the importance of avoiding unnecessary involvement in external drama and focusing on your own business. 
Many individuals find it easier to provide advice and solve others' problems, neglecting their own responsibilities. Avoiding external distractions, the principle encourages individuals to resist getting entangled in external drama and prioritize their own business matters. This shift in focus minimizes time spent on external issues, ensuring efficiency in sales-related activities. Sales efficiency is key. Investing time in solving external problems can lead to sales inefficiency. By resigning from the role of the general manager of the universe and redirecting focus inward, sales professionals can optimize their time and efforts. Key takeaways for embracing focus. One, this allows for dedicated attention to sales-related activities and enhances overall efficiency. Three, conclusion, the gateway to sales success. For aspiring sales professionals, the Little Red Book of Selling serves as a comprehensive guide, offering a gateway to knowledge and experience through the application of its principles. The book encapsulates the essential attitude, discipline, and creativity required not only to establish a career in sales, but to truly excel at it. Impact on Sales Results the book's transformative effect on sales results is contingent upon the reader's commitment and desire for success. As the book suggests, the degree of change in sales outcomes is entirely within the individual's control and determination. In essence, the principles outlined in this book provide a roadmap to navigate the dynamic world of sales, equipping individuals with the tools needed to not just survive, but thrive in their sales careers. We're keen to hear your thoughts on our content. Feel free to share your opinions or recommend books in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Business Book Summaries and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest summaries. Thank you and have a wonderful day.